What's good, Eagles Nation? Back here with a new damn video. <sighs> Let's get right down to damn work, all right? This is how it goes. We got to verse the Washington Redskins. We got to go down to wherever the hell the FedEx Stadium, wherever the hell the name that damn stadium is, and we got to see Deshaun Jackson once again. Now, don't get me wrong. Before I get into this video, Deshaun's gonna get his. Trust me, he's gonna get his. I think we got trash ass Brad Bradley Fletcher sticking his bitch ass. So he's gonna get he's gonna get his, you know what I'm saying? So that's whatever. Um let's get down to the game though. Um I know we could be eliminated this week. <laughs> we could be eliminated, but um I don't care. I I'll watch it. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm still supporting the team. I ain't gonna throw the damn towel in just yet. Because I, I don't care if we make the playoffs and lose. I just I just need another month of football. If you know what I mean. I can't. No way in hell I'm going 10 more months without football. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Eagles football, I should say. Because I still watch regular NFL. But that's whatever. Okay. So these are the keys to victory, all right? As I always say, bring pressure. Blitz the hell out of RG3. Now, look. You're going to have to put a quarterback spy. And the reason why I say put a quarterback spy up on him is because you guys remember last year when we versed him, okay? Kyle, um, Kyle Shanahan, Mike Shanahan or whatever, was the, was the head coach, okay? And RG3 was trying to be, because he got hurt, he was trying to be, you know, a drop back quarterback. And there was a whole bunch of stuff going on, if you guys remember. So every time he dropped back, he wouldn't run. So we'd just sack his ass or he'll backpedal. So now he's going to try to run, so put the quarterback spy on him. If you go back and watch the game against him versus the Giants, he tried to pull off his 2012 type shit, you know, where he's running and just stopping and throwing and running. So make sure you contain his ass, all right? Number two, it's going to be hard as hell to stop the Sean. It's going to be hard as hell. He wants revenge, and, you know, If we can get the RG3 early, he won't be able to get the ball to him. If we, if we can pick his bitch ass off a few times, we, we can win that game. I mean, like, I, I think we're going to win anyway. I'm, I'm not sitting here being confident. I'm just keeping it serious. Um, but is, if there's a way to stop Deshaun, there's only one way to stop him, in my opinion. Let him catch a pass. And then crack the shit out of him. That's the only way to stop him because you got Bradley Fletcher sticking him. Unless, because what I heard, Bradley Fletcher was was back um, uh, after the game in the locker room crying. So maybe that gave him some motivation. Maybe he could pick off a few passes. I don't know. Whatever. Um, you know the deal, though. Get the RG3. Try to contain Deshaun as much as you damn can. I think this game right here is going to be an old-fashioned NFC East battle, just like it was when we first met with met up with them and Chris Baker did the hit and the fight broke out and all this and that. But I think a lot of emotions are going to be flying in this game. And I think Jeremy Macklin and Jordan Matthews are going to have a big game. So put them them cats down because if you guys heard later on, earlier on in the week that Deshaun was talking a bunch of shit saying that he don't miss us and the only person we have is uh, Jeremy Macklin, and he's happy that his boy's balling out of control. He's like, that's my boy's balling out and stuff, so, you know, yeah, he's going to get his contract or whatever. So, J Jeremy Macklin went on Instagram, put a picture of all... My bad, I got fucked up on me playing football. Um, Jeremy Macklin put a uh, picture of all the wide receivers that we have and all the receptions and all this and what it's ranked in the NFL, and he says, know your facts before you talk-ish, you know, instead of shit-ish. Um... So, you know, Macklin's going to try to prove that he's not, just like he did last against the Redskins. Prove that he's the number one receiver and why we got rid of Deshaun and why he's still here. Like, you know what I mean? So it's going to be, there's going to be a lot of emotions flying in this game, and I love it because, let's keep it real, after we lost to the Seahawks, after we lost to the Cowboys, my confidence deflated. I was just done. I'm like, yo, this season's, I'm not going to say it's over, but I'm just like, man, it's, it's whatever. But this game right here, I'm actually waiting for it. It's going to be a lot of emotions, as I said, flying around between Macklin, between Deshaun, between the Eagles, between the Redskins. And I think it's going to be a good game. All right? Another game plan. we got to set up screen passes and do it early. We haven't done that many screens like we used to. That, that was Chip Kelly's bread and butter. You know what I'm saying? Wheel routes, whatever it might be. We haven't done any of those in a long time. All right? And 
we're going to have to do it because if you're Chip Kelly, you're watching tape, the Redskins have a good pass rush. I don't care what no one says. they got a good front seven. The Dallas Cowboys' front seven is not that good. Even a Dallas Dallas fan will probably tell you that. The def, the, their front defense isn't that good. And they got through our offensive line, and we're sacking Sanchez every second they got. Sack, sack. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, a team that barely pass rushes or barely has good pass rushers are getting to him. Imagine the damn Redskins with a Brian Arakpo and Jason Hatcher or whatever his name is and uh, Chris Bay, you know, all them cats. They're going to get to his ass, okay? Um, so make the game plan as easy as you can, Chip. I don't care if you got to run Shady down their throats. I don't care if you got to run it, run it, run it. Even if you only get the gain of three, just keep running that son of a bitch. Put Sproles in there, put Polk in there. I heard Polk was getting first team reps. I don't know what that's about. We'll see. Um... Make the game plan easy for Mark Sanchez. Make it work around him. Now I know you're already you already minimized half of your playbook, Chip, because of Mark Sanchez. Like he can't throw the ball deep because he has a baby arm. We all know that he can't throw the ball deep. He can't throw the ball in certain places, so he has to do the quick slants and all this other shit. So make it easy for the guy, even though you already altered half of your damn book just to be around. Just, you know, just because you only have this guy. Um. I'm looking forward to a good ass game. I think it's going to be a good game. Um, I think we could pull it out. Um, we got to get fresher, as I said. We got we get Mark Sanchez. You got to do your damn thing. You can't do that stupid fucking shit again, because man, you have a history. First off, I'm not trying to rant here, but I'll tell you this: he has a history, okay? Of once he has bad games, he has a multiple bad games. And look at it: Seattle, he effed up. Cowboys game, he effed up. Now, a lot of people sit back and say to me, well, bro, if Foles played that game, you wouldn't have won either. Maybe we wouldn't have because there were some mistakes on defense and shit. But he would have hit those open cats. You know what I'm saying? Brent Selleck wide open in the flat. He's missing it. Doing this, doing that. Oh, my God, man. Just get your shit together and get going, all right? Bradley Fletcher. This is, this is a word to you. Listen up. I don't give a shit about you getting smoked by Des Bryant three times. He's one of the top receivers, but your ass cannot stop him. Let me tell you something right now. Get your dick strap on, put it on right, and play some motherfucking football. That's all. That's the only way you're going to win this game. Right? Now, I'm sorry. I don't like to be cursing and stuff on here, okay? But I'm really heated right now talking about these certain cats on the team. Um, but let's get this W. Let's get this W. Let's move the hell on. Let's move on. Let's hope. Let's hope the Bears beat the Lions or something. Let's hope because uh, we need the Lions to lose two or something shit like that just to get a wild card or to, you know whatever. And I think they can if they lose to the Bears and then they lose to the Packers. We get a wild card, whatever. But I don't care about that. Um, I just want to worry about our stuff and let everything else fall in its place. So let's go, Birds. Let's go Colts. Shout out to my man, movie. what's his name, M movie fanatic, M movie maniac or something. I know you're a Colts fan. You're my boy, Hunter. Go Colts, baby. All we need is a little luck. Go Birds. It's going to be a good game. Tune in. It's Saturday. Remember that. Saturday. Saturday edition of football. The first time. And the way this team is playing, yeah, we should be on Saturdays with the damn college of football. <laughs> Even that college football is not on right now. You understand, though. All right, y'all. Peace. I'll be back here with my recap. Alright, y'all.